Hi friends, today we will discuss what is FATCA and what is CRS. Nowadays, if you want to open any account in, in, in any bank in India or you want to open any account in any financial institutions, so if you verify your account opening form, there will be FATCA declaration. So what is FATCA, what is CRS, uh, how it is impacted and what is the information is required, who is eligible to send the information who are the person's uh, information should be captured, all those things we will discuss today. So FATCA is the Foreign Account Tax Complaint Act. This, so foreign account, for example, um, we are in India. So X person having a tax complaint account in US. So he comes under FATCA. So this is the information, tax information reporting. So what is the income he is earning there? What is the tax he is paying? These informations will be sent to the US. So financial institution to identify their US accounts through enhanced due diligence reviews and report them periodically to the US. So in India, financial institutions, banks, they have to identify US accounts and you have to do due diligence means. So we have to ask few questions. Uh, what is your job? How you are getting income in US? You have to verify. Then you have to report the same information periodically to the US. So what is CRS? Common Reporting Standard. So to share this information, few countries and uh, it may be 30, 40, 50, 100, they will come with an agreement and for example, in this agreement, India and US is there. For example, India in a bank or financial institution, a US person is opening an account, then we will capture the relevant information and these relevant information will be sent to us periodically it will be annual basis every year we will send this information to us so this is in a standard format for example 20 countries are in this agreement means all the total countries they will share the financial information and they will exchange with the us in a standard format so this is only applicable to the countries in the jurisdictions so those countries they come with the agreement only the sharing will happen in the those countries only so the model agreements enable financial institution to designated jurisdictions to comply with fatca especially with privacy law where and all law is existed and your, your country is designated in that agreement then you have to share the information so the purpose of FATCA is prevent the US person from using the bank and financial institutions outside US to park their wealth. So normally what is your wealth means so you will be earning the money after tax you will be investing in real estate, gold, shares, uh, debentures, buildings, commercial flats. So this is your wealth. So if any US person he is earning money in US and is paying the tax in US and is getting the wealth. That wealth is investing in other than US. Then these information should be sent back to the US in a standard format. So FATCA stands for Foreign Account Tax S. So this is introduced by United States Department of Treasury and United States Internal Revenue Services. Okay, so. These people started this FATCA information and they come up with one agreement and they have included few countries and they signed an agreement. So those countries, if they are getting any US person opening account in their country, they have to share the information in standard format to US. So what is the impact? So annual basis banks and other financial organizations to require report information on financial account held by the directly or indirectly by the US person. In India, for example, India is there in that agreement. So, India will share the bank and financial institution will share the financial accounts. So, financial account means it may be a investment account, it may be current account, any account. So, any financial account directly or indirectly by US person. Sometimes you will directly open account or through organization also you can open account. Then these information should be shared with US government. So who and all affected the purpose of uh, covering FATCA? Individuals and business customers also required to capture this information and it will be sent back to US. So it will be affected to individuals and business organizations also. 
So, who will be covered in this US person means citizen of US and person born in US and residing in any other country, then he has to come under FATCA. US green card holders, US partnership, US estates, US trusts, all these people, if they are investing their wealth in other than US and if the country comes under this agreement, then they have to share the information to US government in a standard format annual basis. So, this was uh, effective from 1st July 2014. Thank you friends. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel.